division using multiplication table. You learned earlier that division is the opposite of multiplication. So, for example, to solve the division problem 35 divided by 5, we can use the fact that 7 multiplied by 5 equals 35 to conclude that our answer for the division problem is 7. Note that 35 is called the dividend and 5 is called the divisor, while our answer 7 is the quotient. So the dividend divided by the divisor equals the quotient. And you have seen how 7 times 5 equals 35. So using the same names for those numbers, we say that the quotient times the divisor equals the dividend. The relation between division and multiplication is important. It allows us to make use of the multiplication table to know the result of many division problems so that we don't have to create a division table. Let's do an example. If we know that 4 times 5 equals 20, then we can say that the numbers correspond to this relation. Quotient times divisor equals dividend. Now, if we take these terms and arrange them to make a division expression, what do we get? We get dividend by divisor equals quotient, right? Now, just plug in the numbers. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Similarly, we can write a second division expression. We can divide 20 by 4 and get 5. The 4 and 5 in these two relations can be exchanged. So, using just one fact from the multiplication table, we can write two division expressions to find both factors. In this lesson, you learned how to use the multiplication table to solve division problems.